Hey guys, it's Peter Lou. How are you? Um, so what I'm going to show you today is um, how to make kombucha. And uh, I don't know if you know about kombucha. It's one of my favorite drinks. Uh, but basically what kombucha is, is a fermented tea. And um, the fermentation process produces all these like enzymes and probiotics. And it's a super healthy drink. Um, it's like super tea and um, basically it's um, it's gotten really popular at least over here in New York and I think uh, throughout the country it's really becoming a popular thing although it's actually a very traditional drink uh, I think the history of it goes back to China uh, I'm not sure about that um, but also to Russia um, got big in, Ger in Europe Germany um, then California um, during the 90s and uh, it's really just recently caught um, caught fire over here and so now it's like sold at stuff like Whole Foods and kind of pricey you know it's like four dollars a bottle you know but what I'm gonna show you is how to make it at home which is kind of like the traditional uh, way um, that you know it's it's been done and uh, there's kind of a a culture of um, uh, kombucha uh, it's a subculture of people. Basically what happens is um, what you need is what they call a scoby, which is the culture. It's kind of like they call it a mushroom, but actually it's just like a, I'll show you, it's a, it's a, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's kind of like nasty looking thing, but actually it's really cool. So those are our scobies and um, they're also called, um, well, when you put it in, it's called a mother. And what happens is, uh, you you put that with the tea, and um, and then it becomes kombucha. All right. So the elements uh, needed. Oh yeah, I'm going back to the the culture of kombucha. Basically, like when you make a, a bottle of um, uh, or brew of kombucha, uh, it produces another one. So you put one scoby in. Uh, there's one pancake kind of thing and then at the end of the fermentation process it multiplies and becomes another one so what happens is people just share the scopies uh, with each other and that's kind of the thing you know people so it's like um, people are always asking they'll put up you know things on YouTube or I mean not YouTube <laughs> uh, well maybe YouTube uh, Craigslist uh, or just any message boards you know looking for scopies um, so what you need is you need that. That's very important. I actually, um, stupidly, when I started, I actually bought one. It cost me like 25 bucks. But really the way it works is people just give them to each other. So Because after a while, like you just keep getting extras and you don't want to keep, you know, what do you do with these things? You give them away. So um, you need sugar. So I got this. I didn't realize that Domino Sugar now makes organic sugar, so I got that. But you can use any any sugar, any white sugar. I think maybe brown works too. I heard that brown works. Um, some tea, any tea if you like. So what I'm I'm using is I'm using this green tea. And um, and then what I did was then you you brew like I made a brew right here, a uh, big pot of tea. And then what you're going to do is, once it's ready, you pour the tea into your container. Now I used, um, I used four bags of tea in that. I hope that's enough. I think for a container this size, which is about 1.5 there's a two liters um, that should be pretty good okay so you got that then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add in the sugar so for for this um, for this amount I think what you need is about um, six mm, I'm gonna use six tablespoons of sugar all right, so just drop that in. Two, 